Hey, I just wanted to come on here and talk about, you know, the Cardi B stuff that's been happening lately. Well, I'm on my lunch break because I barely get time to, you know, film a video lately. So, I just feel like, you know, it's such a double standard. We have black women um, coming out defending her, black men coming out defending her. I was just talking to my friend last night, and he was like, oh, he understands both sides, some both sides stuff, like, you know, like Trump, like what he would say, like, oh, both sides. You know, it's 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 one thing to understand. It's, one, it's another to um, absolve a crime or wrong doing because you understand why they did it. No, I don't, yeah, I don't understand. Um, I can understand from your point of view if you explain it to me, I can understand anything. But I don't understand why you hurt innocent people um, to further your career. There's no, there's no redemption for that. There's no excuse for that. You can have your own selfish reasons. You can want to kill somebody for a selfish reason, and you can explain it to me, and I can understand that. But you're still wrong. And um, he was trying to say, you know, oh, I can understand both sides because in stripper life, you know, you have a 50 50 percent chance that, you know, that you might drug or rob you, or that the guy might do it to you. And I'm like, just because that's the culture, that doesn't mean it's right. And, um,. You know, I feel like he, I don't know if he really does have any experience in that, but I'm like, you don't have to have experience in that to um, to understand it. And whether I understand it or not, um, doesn't matter, and it's not the past. So people were comparing it rightfully so to Bill Cosby because on the other video she did that I've seen, she said that she had sex with guys while they were unconscious. And also why they're under the influence as well that she drugged them and on this specific one that everybody is you know paying attention to at the moment that she said she admitted to um, drugging them and robbing them setting them up to be robbed and that's what she had to do and crying on there and people feel so sorry for her hey oh yeah, yeah listen i don't care i don't care about your tears i care about the victims of what you had to do if everybody cried that did something wrong okay like it doesn't matter. Your, your tears don't matter at that point. I care about what you did was wrong, and I feel like you should serve time too. And people want to say everything is in the past. Yesterday was in the past. If it, if it happened to you, say it was in the past and move on. But don't tell other victims how to um, how to respond, and don't tell the public how they should look at this, saying this in the past. Cause time is irrelevant anyway, and it's an abstract concept that only tells the days. You know, this just you know how many times the sun the, the earth spins around the sun people actually think the sun spins around the earth and think that it goes down and all that but that's another conversation my thing is bill cosby okay that was in the past too okay that was over 30 years ago and people didn't absolve him of what he did drugging women and having sex with them while they were under the influence so that's one thing, and, and that's one thing she admitted to doing. She also admitted to rob robbing him, at least Bill Gnick didn't rob him. And, you know, this happened to multiple men. Like she said, she that's what she used to do. That's what she had to do. So it wasn't just one man, although one man has already come out. So it's like, what? we shouldn't wait till she's old to prosecute her. Like, if you can't say, oh, what this old man did 30 years ago is okay. It's in the past now. It's okay. And, you know, just forget about it and not, you know, and don't hold it against them. You can't take this chicken, um, say, it's, you, you, you have to do the same way. You can't dissolve somebody who, that's closer in time, that happened three to five years ago, three to six years ago, that she was doing this stuff. But not, but, but you, you don't want to put his past in the past, that was 30 years ago, like almost three times as many years ago. Like, do you guys hear the hypocrisy? I feel like main reason is that he's a black woman, she's a Latino woman. I mean, he's a black man, she's a Latino woman of a lighter complexion that people want to claim black. Um, black people want to claim black. White people see her as mixed and more and more comfortable with her, but people are um, favor her in the rap game right now. And I feel like that's a big reason why, because she's ratchet, you know, it's all heck. And, um... She can throw shoes at events. She can throw shoes at award ceremonies and, and be outside fighting and, and all that. 
she can um she can not have any home training she cannot have any sense of grammar and choose not to better herself in her education and she still will have people's favor and that is that is you know something that i i feel like that's something that's pretty messed up because nobody else can get away with that no other no no dark skinned man can get away with it. no no dark no black um, one man can get away with it. If she was just ratchet and throwing shoes and all that, she would have been canceled. But everybody, nobody would have, they would have, look at Monique, they just labeled her, her difficult and everybody turned against her. She didn't even do anything. She didn't even do, she didn't even do an ounce <clears throat> out of a hundred ounces that Cardi did. And people want, turned against her so easy. Like, just look at the society. <clears throat> look who runs it. Look who, who is who's pulling the screen? Look at this these double standards between gender and race. It's gender and race inequality just rampant across America, across the land of the earth, period. But especially in America, because if a man if they want they want to group all men together and say, Oh, you know, he wanted it, you know, men like love sex. So it's fine, you know, who cares if she had sex with them because it was unconscious. He just wasn't awake to enjoy it. But we can say that about women. And so when they're, they're under influence, because there's a lot of women that are sex addicts, um, nymphos, and love sex, and sex crazy too. So how about we just group you all together? Because so it's, it's going to be one way or it's going to be no way. It can't be all one-sided. Not all men are the same. Not most men are the same. And not all women are the same. So so like we gotta get over this inequality bs because i can't take a movement serious if it's only working for one side i i won't do it um so so i just wanted to come on here and say we gotta do better because this is not it and we we choose who we support if we spend our dollars our hard-earned money more people like you and i they don't have a lot of money to just throw around and we choose to support people that don't have our values we're doing uh, we're we're doing a huge disservice to ourselves to future generations i feel like we're shaming our ancestors and you know we we have to do we have to put a down behind well-spoken people people that hold values people that don't feel like they can just do whatever you like <clears throat> don't be taken advantage of by people that don't care about you it's just crazy but that's all i want to come on here and say please like and share the video y'all need to be sharing the video and spreading it around y'all ain't been doing it but peace and follow me on instagram uh, lt soul one lt soul one and i'm also on facebook and twitter